Hello friends, this is Rahul Hayer as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and today we would be covering a video which is very technical which is on Treasury Management System and EVAM. Basically, this the title of this video once you will see on the YouTube would be the integration of TMS and EVAM. Now as you very well understand that our YouTube channel comprising of a lot of videos and with this we would be moving towards 350 videos and hopefully uh, by 15th April we would be able to cross this benchmark of 350 and by the time third anniversary of the YouTube channel would come which is on 20th of July we would be over 500 videos amongst the biggest channels we have we will surely try for that uh, before but one thing which seriously I would like to talk about is that uh, our YouTube channel uh, the uh, now assuming we are posting 150 more videos by July you will see that majority of the videos would be unorthodox although i'm not saying that the earlier videos are orthodox they are still they are still unorthodox the way we are uh, discussing videos but now we would be adding more technical videos example we would be adding videos on blockchain free banking sepa single european payment access mifid amir dot frank workal rule and all such things which are highly highly technical in nature such things which are not really getting discussed and of course our major endeavor would be on the TMS which is strategy Memory system which is Murex, Calypso, SCP, Oracle, Thomson Reuters, Bloomberg and a lot of such and a lot of such are uh, a lot of such technologies right now the point of contention here is that nowadays treasuries are getting a lot of respect and the reason for the respect is that the volatility which is happening in the market but unfortunately, the company is still taking the technology or the treasury technology it granted. And this is something which is happening. We need to appreciate that. This is something which is bound to happen. So what are we doing in this video? We are taking a case of a very big company. And of course, we are taking an indemnification that whatever number we have mentioned, this is just hypothetical numbers. They are not right. Or whatever the way we, uh, the way we presented it, 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 it is, it is hypothetical. It is not uh, real, right? But it is just for the sake of giving an example because this example could not be possible without having a big company. So here we are taking a big company which is Cognizant Technologies. Now what exactly what we are doing? Cognizant Technologies is a very big company like in the earlier video we have taken an example on IFRS 9 rebalancing the hedge ratio. Now Cognizant Technology is everywhere. United States, Europe, ANZ stands for Australia, New Zealand, Asia Pacific market, African, Indian IT market, Japanese market. Assuming they have the following bank accounts with respective banks, we are not quoting the banks, neither we required it. Total bank accounts is 260. Now, how the company would be managing all these bank accounts? The traditional option is the spreadsheet. What is spreadsheet that you are going to you are going to be, you are going to present this, you are going to mention the name of the bank account, you are going to mention the signatory list and everything. This is a traditional method of managing the bank account. Believe me, there are many IT companies we have because my entire experience is with the IT. There are many IT companies we have, those who have such kind of stuff. They are still managing a lot of things on, uh, you know, I would say on uh, spreadsheets. But there are few IT companies who are implementing fake technologies. What is fake technologies? H2H, host to host. I'm not saying that host to host is a fake technology, but I meant to say that it is fake because you've not been able to integrate this with the TMS. What is host to host? That you will make one account, one principal account. Suppose you assume that you will make JP Morgan Chase as a principal account, which is US account, assuming 5731. And that will sync with all the 260 accounts. And at the end of the day, in a respective format, which is MT940 and MT942, you will get the balance in all the, all the accounts. Example, at the end of the day, Congress and technologies will get MT40, or oh sorry, MT940 and MT942, wherein they will get the balance of, of all the bank accounts. Now that balance is again difference, whether it is a notional balance or this is an actual balance, this is notional pooling or this is actual pooling. What is notional pooling? Example, ANZ is having balance in Australian dollars. Indian markets is having balance in Indian rupee. Now what is doing that MT940 would convert all balances into dollar terms. They would be taking a dollar rate which is in the system of JP Morgan Chase. That dollar rate actually not converting Indian rupee to dollars. Actually not converting Australian dollars to dollars. 
actual conversion is not happening it is only a notional conversion which is happening because tomorrow if one dollar is equals to 60 say 60 current rate 66.50 or one Aussie is equals to 0.77 per dollar then this might change so this is the notional pooling which is happening the actual pooling is not not happening I don't want to mention the name of a company which is the largest uh, cement company and they have a multiple offices in Europe this company is actually doing practical pooling what they are doing their host to host system will convert the balances into dollar and practically convert into dollars and of course they are taking some gain loss every day in their books and that gain loss which they are passing in the foreign exchange gain loss which is either the debit side of the PL or the credit side of the PL. that is something which is happening that is known as catalyst account or the margin account but that is a different than that so what some companies are doing some companies are implementing fake technologies and i don't want to mention the name of few companies here they are just implementing host to host and then fought it and at the end of the day they are getting a statement which is empty 940 and whenever you are adding any bank account example in asia pacific you wanted to increase this 35 to 36 then of course you need to inform to jp morgan chase and they will do everything and then again these all uh, long process will start and again you will start getting empty 940 on notional basis and these companies are doing fake and they are happy with that but they never thought that there is one more software which we have which is TMS which is treasury management systems and that TMS if we can integrate with another technology which is eBAM which is electronic banking account management it just be a it, it's something which is I would say it's a wonder of wonder so this video is about that we are, IT companies are here on the face they are IT companies but tell, uh, I will tell you that the treasury function of majority IT companies are just like a Sarkari office that is something which is a reality now you have a TMS and very less IT companies have TMS like uh, TCS is having a TCA uh, is having TMS and I'm very sorry that not major IT companies have a TMS currently Kongmis and having TMS and all so these TMS would have would be linking with the front office desk the middle office desk the back office desk and the risk management risk office desk the risk office desk is coming nowadays very 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 popular because a lot of norms are changing like uh, you know i would say your norms like amir your mifid and all these norms are changing so what exactly it is happening is you are linking that the host to host with tms i could have bypassed that but i'm not bypassing it for the sake of an example now that TMS will further integrate with the technology which is by SWIFT which is EBAM EBAM stands for electronic banking account management now what Cognizant could have done even if they want host to host to be alive they don't want to disregard that or they don't want to discontinue that they can continue to sync this with TMS and using this TMS they can continue to manage uh, of course the TMS is to be linked with SWIFT EBAM and they can continue to manage list of bank accounts authorized signatory, digital signatures, e-banking rights ASL stands for authorized signatory list amendment is the authorized signatory list and all with this the front office desk the middle office desk and the back office desk all three will link with eBAM. another thing which is very best is that this eBAM can further be linked with ERP which is enterprise resource planning of course there are many host to host system which, which, which we can directly link with the ERP like a host to host system can be linked with Oracle it can be linked with SAP but actually it is not integration it's integration integration this is nothing but you are what you are doing you are doing CMS cash management system you are printing the checks at a host location at the bank location and then these checks coming to you so this is CMS actually this is not a complete integration so how the complete integration of eBAM would happen you have a company which is everywhere you will choose a bank here I went for JP Morgan Chase and you have 260 accounts that 260 account would come here which link with host to host if you wanted to continue with host to host then in that and then you would be having the TMS where which covering front office middle office and back office and then you will have a swift eBAM which covers list of bank account authorized signatory digital signatures e-banking amendments in ASL which is authorized signatory list and further you will uh, link this same with ERP which is enterprise resource planning with this the complete cycle of integration would happen 
and the front office desk of Cognizant would be able to manage everything electronically. It's a complete paperless transaction. Of course, this requires certain time, this requires an effort and this requires and, uh, and will by the company to invest, in, to invest in the technology. And you very well understand that nowadays technology is changing very fast. Amazon and Alibaba, besides their e-commerce business, I'm sorry, besides their successful e-commerce business, they are having perfect, they are perfect example of cloud compounding and a lot of technologies they are changing blockchain is coming up and there are several new technologies coming up and we are also launching new uh, we are also launching our fixed income portal which is which would be another example of a technology and which would be the product of treasury consulting llp so this is for about the video if all the corporate treasurers watching this video you can contact us in case of implementation my website is www.treasuryconsulting.in and our email id is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in before winding up this video i would like to tell you that 31st march between 31st march till 7th or 8th of april anytime we are launching the first magazine first fraud magazine of india which is the fraudster and this would be the first magazine this would be again product of treasury consulting llp and uh, we also launched uh, we, we also launched the trainings on murex if you have any requirement about the training program on the murex and the calypso do let us know thank you and have a wonderful time man.